All right, we are on chapter 33, the effects of fluoride on the body and copper. So fluoride lowers cereloplasmin, the key copper transport protein in the blood, thus blocking copper. Uh, here's a study title. Uh, serum sialic acid and cereloplasmin levels in experimental fluorosis, published way back in 1983. <clears throat> fluoride lowers cereloplasmin. Again, fluoride lowers copper. Effect of dietary fluoride on nutrient digestibility and retention of iron, copper, zinc, and manganese in growing pigs. Quote, excess fluoride levels should decrease growth performance and change the retention of and, and lower iron, copper, zinc, and manganese in pigs. Note, I do not recommend supplementing with manganese as I believe it's a known neurotoxin. Manganese is also in very high levels in some green smoothies at up to 10 times the upper limit, and it appears it causes no harm from that particular form. Perhaps the greens keep it bound. Fluoride exposure in humans lowers copper levels and other minerals by about 10%. But again, there is a testing and measurement problem with copper. Also, there's a problem with finding control groups too. Uh, and also, you know, if the average person has enough fluoride that they're almost just over uh, skeletal fluorosis levels, again, how are you going to find people not exposed to fluoride? A study title, Serum, Serum Copper, Zinc, and Magnesium Levels in Patients with Chronic Fluorosis. Uh, study link. So, uh, fluoride does over 182 bad things to the body. Iodine help, helps and cures. 182 identifiable conditions of iodine deficiency, which are all the same symptoms and conditions that show up with fluoride poisoning as listed here in 175 scientific papers and references. This is an absolutely amazing and very, very thorough list provided by the website poisonfluoride.com. So the list of conditions is abnormal sweating. And this is again, uh, fluoride poisoning, and iodine deficiency. The list is abnormal sweating, acne, ADHD, learning disorders, allergies, alopecia, hair loss, Alzheimer's disease, anaphylactic shock, anemia, apnea, cessation of breath, aorta, cal aorta calcification, asthenia, which is weakness, asthma, arteriosclerosis, uh, arthra arthralgia, arthritis, ataxia, autism, back pain, behavioral problems, birth defects, blind spots, body temperature disturbances, breast cancer, uh, cac cacexia, which is wasting away, carpal tunnel syndrome, cataracts, changes in blood pressure, chest pain, uh, gallstones, chronic fatigue syndrome, collagen breakdown, cold shivers, coma, concentration inability, constipation, convulsions, crying easily for no apparent reason, death, decrease in testosterone, dementia, demyelinating diseases, dental abnormalities, dental arch smaller, uh, dental crowding, dental enamel, more porous, dental fluorosis, mottling of the teeth, delayed eruption of the teeth, depression, diabetes insipidity, diabetes, uh, mel mellitus, diarrhea, dizziness, Down syndrome, dry mouth, dyspepsia, dystrophy, early delayed onset of puberty, eczema, edema, epilepsy, uh, eosinophilia, excessive sleepiness, eye, ear, and nose disorders, fatigue, fearfulness, fever, fibromyalgia, fibrosarcoma, fibrosis, fingernails, uh, lines and grooves, fingernails being brittle, forgetfulness, gastro disturbances, gastric ulcers, giant cell formation, gingivitis, glaucoma, goiter, growth disturbances, headache, hearing loss, heart disorders, heart failure, heart palpitations, hepatitis, hemorrhage, hives, hoarseness, hyperparathyroidism, hypertension, hypoplasia, immunosuppression, impotence, incoherence, infertility, inflammatory bowel disease, inner ear disorders, irritability, joint pains, kidney failure, lack of energy, lack of coordination, loss of appetite, loss of consciousness, loss of IQ, 
loss of spermatogenesis, low birth weight, lung cancer, lupus, magnesium deficiency, memory loss, mental confusion, migraine, monosiliasis or candida, more fluorosis, uh, high altitudes, um, more hypothyroidism at high altitudes, uh, mouth sores, myalgia, which is muscle pain, myotrophy, which is muscle wasting, multiple sclerosis, muscle cramps, muscle stiffness, muscle weakness, uh, musculoskeletal disease, nausea, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, osteosarcoma, optic neuritis, oral squam squamous uh, cell carcinoma, osteosclerosis, Parkinson's disease, pins and needles, polydipsia, polyneuropathy, polyuria, Pyleocystitis, premature delivery, puritis, which is itchy skin, pulmonary edema, recurring colds, respiratory complications, restlessness, uh, retinitis, rhinitis, schizophrenia, scleroderma, skin pig pigmentation, secondary teeth erupt later, sensitivity to light, seizures, shortness of breath, SIDS, sinus infections, skeletal changes, sleep disorders, slipped epiphysis, slipped epiphysis, sluggishness, skin irritations, spondylitis, ankylosing, stillbirths, swallowing difficulties, dysphagia, swelling in the face, angioderma, telagistasia, testicular growth alteration, thirst, thrombosis, thyroid cancer, tinnitus, tingling sensations, visual disturbances, ulcerative colitis, uticaria, hives, uterine bleeding, uterine cancer, vaginal bleeding, vas deferens alterations, vertigo, vitiligo, white spots on the skin, weak pulse, weight disturbances, and zinc deficiency. Those are symptoms, all symptoms of excess fluoride, also symptoms of iodine deficiency. And now that I've looked over the list again in light of doing the research here for copper deficiency, most of them are also symptoms of copper deficiency or possibly so. Those that I did not see as copper deficiency would be the following three. Mm, gallstones, coma, and uh, diarrhea. Uh, this does not mean that those conditions would not improve with copper. Since copper appears to do so much more than this list, copper is probably more important than iodine. And that actually shocked me. I loved iodine. Still do. But so what else does fluoride do? It wrecks the nerves and the intelligence. The people suing the EPA over fluoride claim now that their quote are over 180 studies demonstrating fluoride's neurotoxicity link. While iodine's effect effectiveness in increasing intelligence is now proven publicly in multiple ways, the same cannot yet be said for copper. Or maybe it has been said, but I've just not found it and I've been looking. At most, we can say that copper helps to detox fluoride, and copper helps the nerves in at least 15 different ways, and presumably with less fluoride and with better nerves, copper could boost intelligence as much, if not more, than iodine. I feel a boost. A few others who have taken copper, uh, based on my research, report the same. Insights come easier. Tolerance for abuse is far less. The mood is increased. Positive feelings increase. Thinking is faster. Reflexes are better. So fluoride in tap water, and not copper in tap water, causes kidney and liver problems. Quote, uh, fluoride may diminish kidney and liver functions in adolescence. Link. This study's findings, combined with previous studies of childhood exposure to higher fluoride levels, show there is a dose-dependent relationship between fluoride and indicators of kidney and liver function. Uh, entirely different researchers in 2007 also said, dose-effect relationship between drinking water fluoride levels and damage to liver and kidney functions in children. These findings are important. Often, copper is blamed for causing kidney and liver problems. Shouldn't we rightly put more blame on the toxin fluoride rather than the nutrient copper? Maybe copper is only to blame if and when fluoride carried copper into the body from tap water, and copper is only a marker for high body fluoride. Maybe taking extremely high doses of copper, such as 20,000 milligrams, causes too much fluoride to be processed in the liver and excreted in the kidney too quickly. 
uh, boron and iodine, also detox fluoride. I've read on a boron forum that two people complained of kidney pain after taking a quarter teaspoon of borax, which contains 100 milligrams of boron in a liter of water. I asked a kidney specialist about this. Is it the rapid fluoride detox rather than the boron? She agreed. She said boron does not cause kidney problems because it's good for the kidneys. It cleans them out. Thank you. That's it for chapter 33.